Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing this guy. So, what is this, you ask? Well, I was uh, just on an international flight over to Europe, so I decided to mess around with um, 123 Design on the iPad, and this is what I came up with. Now, uh, it sort of came out semi-okay. There are some problems with it, and I think it's probably worth talking about these problems. So, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead, let's watch the time lapse of this being printed, and then we'll bring it back to the bench and we'll take a look at um, some of its failure points and some of its positive points. So let's head over to the time lapse, take a look, and then we'll head over to the bench. Welcome back. So we took a look at the time lapse, and uh, what this is, if you can guess by the title of the uh, episode, is um, it's a stand for the Amazon Echo uh, Dot. So let's talk about the Echo Dot for a brief minute before we uh, move forward. So what I was doing in this design is, if you look at the bottom, the sound actually comes out of the base of the dot. So the mic's on the top here, and then the sound comes out of the bass. And when the bass sits on, you know, a surface, there's there's not much area. So there's a little bit of tapering here, um, you know, for the sound to come out. And, and these aren't really designed for a lot of sound uh, quality, like the, the full-size Echo is with the big neodymium speakers, etc. Uh, however, I did just kind of, for grins and giggles, want to improve it because um, I've got several of these and I've got them connected to my stereo and stuff through the uh, the uh, uh, 3.8 millimeter jack here. Uh, but some of them I just have sitting in, you know, for example, bedrooms and that, so we can utilize the echo throughout the house. So. I thought it'd be neat to come up with this. So the idea of this was is to create an area sort of like an acoustic horn here. So um, kind of a long story short is I took a cylinder, created a little bit of fillet to create a little bit of relief on the base here, and then took a torus, put the torus down, and cut out the top of the cylinder so there'd be a lip here. So the idea is is when this sat on top, you know the acoustics would be you know driven down in the side and, and up and then out uh, sort of at, at, at you know at an angle of reflection from here outward uh, and we'll see about that in a minute I'm not sure how this will come through on the video um, the only problem I ran into is there are supposed to be fingers that extend uh, beyond this and you can see maybe here where one sort of started to form but the fingers for some reason didn't want to form now what I did, the object that I used in uh, uh, 123D on the iPad was one um, with the rounded corners. And the rounded corner is actually a pre-made complex shape. Now, interestingly enough, the, the sort of piece you can kind of see down here formed, if I get closer. Um, however, there's supposed to be a counter piece up here, and it just simply did not form. And... Um, I'm not really sure why that is. Now I have brought this into Tinkercad and I've looked at the STL and they are there. So uh, printing it on the Wanhao, 0.2 millimeters, 0.8 um, shell, they just didn't print. So uh, I'm not sure what was happening about that. They do show up in Cura. I use Cura as the slicer. So, but um, hey, they didn't print. So that's sort of a unique little problem. So. Um, you know, maybe I need to make these bigger or do something else with these. So I'm going to go back and take a look at that and, and for a future version because I really like the idea. The other thing I did just to save on plastic, I, I hollowed out the center of this. This provides really no value because as you can see here, I mean, there's nothing in the base. And it just is no reason. I could, I could actually even make this a little bit more... Um, uh, uh, a little bit larger, not more larger, but and I'm not sure if you can see here if the light's hitting this right, how much area. So it, it's a little bit short of the uh, the outer ring. So uh, again, I didn't get it perfect with the Taurus, but that wasn't my intent. So there's definitely enough to uh, scoot it out and have you know a nice amount of area. Uh, 
So uh, again, you can kind of see how this is designed to sit, and the fingers are supposed to hold, you know, the 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 puck from or the dot from moving around. And you can kind of see with where there's a little bit it, it does, but they're supposed to come up about midway on the actual puck itself and be kind of cool, you know, like being held with fingers. So. Uh, I'm going to go back and try that one again, and by the time you see this, I probably have it fixed and posted. And the idea is, is um, you know, again, because it's open in the back, you know, you don't have a problem with any of the cable management or anything like that. As you can see, it's sticking out here. So, so let's let's try a, a test. I'm not sure that this is going to really come out. Sorry, I bumped you guys. Um, so let's try this, Alexa. What time is it? The time is 11.05 a.m. Okay, so you can tell that's a little bit muffled, or at least in person I can. So let's now set it up here. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.05 a.m. There's there's definitely a difference in sound quality now. Would I definitely would I call this stereophonic? Absolutely not. However, um, in, in one of the bedrooms where we have one of these, it, it, it really is kind of muffled the way it's sitting on the nightstand and everything. And that's what kind of drove me to, to kind of come up with something. Because I think the, the stuff um, on the nightstand around it, the lamps and alarm clocks and books and what have you, um, really dampen the acoustics as it's sitting on the table because the stuff is sitting around here blocking the flow of the sound coming out. So my thought was if I elevated it plus put sort of a, a loop in here or curvature where the sound because what's going to happen is the sound's actually going to come up at an angle like this because of the way that this has a lip be, uh, generated by the torus. So anyways let's just try this again. Alexa what time is it? The time is 11:06 a.m. So there's definitely an improvement. So if you if you have the uh, dot and you're having a hard time maybe hearing it, I, I think this will actually work. So I'm going to put this out. Um, I'm going to you know fix this and actually print one with the fingers on it and do some adjustments and get it out there. Um, but anyways, I wanted to, you guys to see the failed one too, because I'm going to do a little bit of a series on I think one two three D for the iPad. And uh, again, I wanted to show you guys the pros and cons because I could have went back and just fixed this and you wouldn't have even seen this bad piece. But I think that's part of it is, is kind of learning what works and what doesn't. So uh, obviously there's a problem here in this design and it is, if you look uh, in 123D, where this comes together and where I cut it is, is partly a, a part of that complex shape. I don't know, know, know quite how to explain it without showing it uh, and I may put an overlay in here from 123D to show it um, but uh, I think that's part of the problem the slicer had a, had an issue with it uh, but this again is done at uh, done in PLA at point uh, 8 shell and 10% uh, infill you don't need a lot it is actually very light because it just rests on top of here so anyways if you found this interesting and you do print it let me know how what you think of it does it do good for you hey Thumbs up. See you in the next video. Cheers. Click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.